Hey, what's going on everyone? Have you ever just wished quietly to yourself that you didn't have to slowly over the course of years memorize the intricate details of hundreds of Unix and Linux commands ranging from literally like the 1970s to the modern day? Just to be effective like in a modern environment? Well, there are some amazing uh, relatively new alternatives to things like the kind of bad man pages that you're probably used to using and things like the control R, you know, bash history or shell history. In this video, I'm gonna give you a demo of two of my favorite tools that make life on Linux a lot easier. Uh, they are TLDR and McFly. These tools take like two seconds to install, don't screw anything up on your system, and will literally start making you faster and more effective on the command line the moment that you install them. Thank you to interviewing.io for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it and it makes it possible for me to do stuff like this. Have you ever looked at a man page? As much as we rely on these, they're often just not practical or readable. And they often don't make sense unless you already know how to use the tool, which is a little bit weird when you think about it. Also, the examples at the bottom of man pages generally suck, unless you're on FreeBSD. That's why TLDR exists. TLDR, or too long didn't read, is a repository of community-created cheat sheets for all kinds of commands. Each cheat sheet is just a markdown file on GitHub, and this tool is really just a web client that looks up the cheat sheet for the tool you're interested in. I cannot stress how amazing this tool is. Uh, if you want to go through the Python package manager, just use pip3 install tldr. If you have node installed, npm install dash g tldr. I just want to give a quick thank you to interviewing.io for sponsoring this video. You might pick this up from my videos and especially my interviews with friends, but the top tier tech companies are paying honestly insane salaries for software engineers right now. The problem is that their interviews are often difficult and even great developers can fail because they don't know what to expect or how they should prepare. At interviewing.io, you can practice realistic coding interviews with senior engineers from those top tier companies that you're trying to get into. They'll not only give you mock interviews that train you for the real thing, but you'll also get detailed feedback on exactly what you need to work on to improve your chances. They've got the largest network of vetted and experienced tech interviewers in the world, so you can book an interview with as little as 24 hours notice. And here's the crazy part, which is why I'm talking about it here. You don't have to pay until you're hired. Yeah, so they're not just making money by selling you a dream. The only way they get paid is if you get paid. So if you want to get hired at top tech companies like Google, Facebook, and Amazon, click the link in the description below and have a look. There's a ton of recorded interviews for you to stream, so you can see how it works right now. Okay, next tool, McFly. Now, you know I love Control R for searching through my history. You see me use it in like all of my videos. It's a huge time saver. McFly is the same thing, but on steroids. You can see more than one match in your shell history at a time. McFly replaces your default Control R key binding, so it's a real like true drop-in replacement. It augments your shell history to track command exit status, timestamp, and execution directory in its own little SQLite database, which I think is a nice way to do this. It's easy to remove, so it doesn't mess with your shell history file or like change anything that makes it hard to remove. It includes a simple action to scrub any history item from the McFly database and your shell history files. And it uses the percent character for matching any number of characters. So like if you're used to regexes, if you're used to, I don't know, finding stuff in, matching stuff in MySQL, like this is gonna seem really familiar. The key feature of McFly is that it's actually smart command prioritization powered by a small neural network that runs in real time. The goal is for the command that you actually want to run to always be the one at the top of the suggestions. When suggesting a command, McFly takes into consideration a bunch of really interesting and kind of smart things. It takes into consideration the directory where you ran the command, since you're likely to rerun that command from the same directory, so the context matters about where you are in the file system. It takes into account what commands you typed before that command, so like the execution context of that command, how often you run the command, when you last ran the command, and that command's historical exit status. 
since like you probably don't want to run <laughs> old failed commands. This tool is really great. And if you start anywhere, honestly, I recommend this one. I friggin' love McFly. So I hope those two commands have been useful and enlightening. I think you can see that they are uh, essentially drop in replacements for kind of workflows or um, like read line tooling that you're already using in the case of command R. Um, please try them out. Let me know in the comments how you like them. Uh, I've found them to make life a lot easier. They make me look a lot smarter than I am. <laughs> And uh, now you can finally uh, prove that, that XKCD uh, comic wrong and remember the command for uh, tar so you can defuse that bomb. Thank you again to uh, interviewing.io for sponsoring this video. It's been a huge help. Uh, it, it makes it possible for me to take this kind of time to make these, these nice, hopefully useful little videos. Remember to like and subscribe if this has been helpful, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.